sitting on the track. Run on the track, bitch. Run on the track, run on the track, bitch. From the Bay to Sacramento, all the way to SoCal. I'm a West Coast nigga. With What's up you guys? It's Alyssa here back with another YouTube video and today's video we'll be talking about the realness of relationships. You gotta be real, you gotta be honest. Let's just be honest, let's just be real. Yeah, you gotta be real. You gotta be real in relationships. You gotta be the realness of relationships. You gotta be so real when it comes to relationships because that's pretty much what it's mostly all about. I know they say it's about like love and all this and that but you make sure that you gotta be real in a relationship you gotta be real but before i get into this video make sure that you like comment and subscribe to my channel and let's get right into this video what i mean by being real in a relationship you gotta be real and show like your true self i know people like they say oh you don't know somebody until they show their true colors almost like that you gotta be true and you gotta be real and show your real authentic self in a relationship don't try to be nobody else. I'm going to get more into that inside of this video. But first thing I want to talk about, I'm going to be giving you guys the four A's in a relationship. Four A's. And I'm going to have four words that start with an A. Again, no. Um, I'm going to have four words that start with an A. And basically, I'm going to give you guys these four A's in a relationship. These four words that you need when you're in a relationship. Because at the end of the day, you know, these things help you to be real. And I should need the realness of relationship. It's about being real. You know what I'm saying? So the first A I'm gonna give you is addition. So addition, what I mean by that is someone is an addition to your life. So what I mean by that is you don't need nobody to complete you. And I wanna say one thing I wanna say in this video, disclaiming this video, you do not need to be in a relationship to be happy. You don't need to be in a relationship. If you are single right now, you're watching this video, honey, you are okay. You are you and you are still loved and you are still beautiful in so many different ways. So you do not need someone at all in your life to validate you and help you feel better. Because honey, you need to feel better on your own. Feel better. We know you if you got God, then you are amazing. If you got God, then you are okay. If you got God in your life and you, you know pray to him and come to him and ask him. If this is your desire to have a relationship, then pray about it. You know what I'm saying? And it will come. God is going to help you to be in a relationship, to be in a healthy relationship as well. So I just wanted to make that disclaimer because I know some people have been saying, oh man, I got to be in a relationship. I got to have all this. Like, no, you do not have to be in a relationship. But back to what I was saying, um, you do not, someone is, so you do not need someone to complete you. You do not. And someone is addition to your life. So that person that you are dating, that person that you are with, that person is in addition to your life, addition to your happiness. Because, honey, you are happy already. You need to be happy already. You need to be happy and complete. You are complete already. Your wholeness. You were created whole. God created one person, one human being. You were created whole already. You need to love yourself and love who you are. And let go of the negativity and all, and focus on the positivity, the positive things about yourself. Because you are an amazing, like I said, a beautiful person. So focus on those things. And, and don't use a person. Do not use a person to validate you. Do not use a person to make you happy. Do not use a person to make things better in your life. Do not use a person to depend on. You do not depend on a person. You don't. You don't depend on nobody, point blank. So pretty much a person is addition to your life. So addition, when it comes to that, make sure that you understand that because do not sit here and be like, oh, I need somebody. I need this person. Honey, you don't need no boy. But you don't. So person is addition to your life. So don't sit up here and act like you really, really cannot live without that person. Especially if they're treating you wrong and they ain't treating you right. Honey, you do not need that person. That person is addition to your happiness, addition to your life, addition to your joy. And don't let that person steal your joy. Don't let nobody steal your joy. So that's all I want to say when it comes to addition. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is actions within a relationship. So, the actions, what I mean by that is the things that you do. Whatever you do in a relationship, the actions. The first thing I want to say when it comes to, you know, the actions within a relationship, 
I want you to be yourself. Be your authentic self. Be you in a relationship. Don't change for nobody. A lot of times I see in relationship girls, you know, they got to be the one who be like, oh, baby, this and oh, um, give me kiss and oh, um, you know, be, um, whatever they be acting like. You know how some day boys want girls to do this and to be like this. She got to have a little bit of this and a little bit of that and like a little bit of this and like a little bit of that. Like, no, you don't have to do none of that for no boy. If a boy trying to make you do that, then you need to leave and cut him off. Cut him off. But if not, then what I'm trying to say is to be yourself. Be yourself. Unless you don't got to be like no other type of girl and try to dress like this and try to be like that. Like, no. And you don't have to act a certain way in a relationship either. Like, talk to this person. Understand. Say, I want to know your problems. I want to know your struggles. I want to know what you've been through. I want to know who you are as a person. Like, that's how you need to be in a relationship instead of trying to act like, oh, um, give me kissing and baby this and I, I want to do this and all this and that. Like, no, honey, no. You need to be you and just be like, like if you argue sometimes in a relationship, that is okay because no relationship is perfect. If you guys play, you know, play, argue, or whatever it is, that, that is okay. Like, you know, just act like you guys are like best friends. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, best friends. Like, honestly, they say, when they say marry your best friend, like, honestly, seriously, it's the truth. Like, don't sit up here and try to be somebody that you're not. And, and just, you know, what I'm saying? Like, don't sit up here and act still. Like, you gotta act a certain way. Like, no, you do not have to act a certain way. You need to just be you and do you. If you're a silly, goofy, down-to-earth person, you're real loud and maybe you're just a person who's just very loud and goofy, then you do that. Do that. Around that person needs to accept you for who you are and love you for who you are. That's what that person needs to do. Because at the end of the day, if they don't love you for who you are, like I said, leave and, and get out of that. Because at the end of the day, you need to love yourself and understand that you are worth more than that. The next thing I want to talk about when it comes to actions is show love and show care. So on the side of being yourself, you need to show lots and lots and lots of love. Show that you care. Show compassion. Show understanding. Show all the different things. All those things add up in a relationship. You need to, you know, really, really show that you really care about this person. And you really want to, like, when this person is down, say, you know what? You can talk to me about anything. Let me know what's going on. I, like I said um, a little bit before in this video, like, you, I want to know your struggles. I want to know your problems. Like, what's going on? Tell me. Let me know what's going on. That's showing that you care. Tell that person that you love them. You know, I love you regardless of everything. And I love you if I know what you're going through things. But I love you no matter what. Let that person know that you love them. Let that person know that you are you are there for them. You are there for them through everything. Let that person know. So show actions in a relationship. Show those type of actions and let them know. Give them a hug. You know, give them a kiss. You know, um, hold their hand. All those type of things are actions. You know, let them know that you are there. It's almost like with your mommy. You know, your mommy loves you so much. She, she gives you a kiss. She hugs you. You know, she holds your hand when you're going through a tough time. She holds your hand when you were a baby. When you were getting a shot in the um, doctor's office. She held your hand and she was right there for you. Same thing in a relationship. When you're going through something, that person can be right there for you to hold your hand to get to what you're going through and be there for you no matter what. So make sure that you show love and that you show love and care within a relationship. And that leads into the other A, which is affection. So affection needs to be shown within a relationship. So this goes back to, you know, showing that person that you love and give them a hug or holding their hand. You know, affection is something that needs to be in a relationship because at the end of the day, it's like sometimes a person needs affection and needs to be known. Let the person know that you love them, that you care about them and that you really, really show them that, you know what? I love you. And like, I really, really do. And like, I, I want to be with you. You know, that that's what, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, that's what needs to be in a relationship with affection because at the end of the day it's really important and it's something that needs to be known i mean i know sometimes people say affection you know it's too much now don't be too much affection like in public you know doing all this and that you know if you do it it's okay but i'm just saying like don't do it so so much i know some people when they say when they say affection they take it and they blow it up and like they it's like blow it out of proportion and they do it so much but at the end of the day affection is something that you know needs to be in a relationship and it needs to be you know a part of a relationship so make sure that you're showing affection and the last thing is attention so this goes back to affection and go back to actions you need to make sure that you are paying attention in a relationship pay attention to what needs to be what's going on pay attention to what needs to change 
pay attention to how things can get better you know pay attention to what's going wrong what's going right pay attention within a relationship and show attention someone sometimes hurts and needs attention within a relationship so show them like i said affection and show your actions and show that you care show that you love and all those type of things you know what i'm saying like you need to make sure that you show those things within a relationship and attention just pay attention to things that happen things that go on what is needs what is going wrong within a relationship just figure out sit down with that person and talk to that person see what needs to change see what needs to you know move on and move forward within the relationship without you know not paying attention to things is not the right way to go so make sure that you are sitting down with a person and letting them know that you know, i'm paying attention to what's going on you know i think this needs to change i think we can do better this way and that way you know make sure that you are paying attention within a relationship so yeah all right you guys that's all i have for this video being the realness the realness in relationships the realness in relationships you know what i'm saying you know if you guys want more videos like this please let me know um also too um i want to also say that you are love you are beautiful you are amazing you are greatness and greatness is always coming for your life all right you guys please make sure to like comment and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye Let's just be honest, let's just be real